Marine drones of the Ukraine Sea Baby are now equipped with GRAD systems and are already actively minus occupiers. Last night, Sea Baby, together with the Navy, was effectively transported from the sea according to the positions of the Russians on the Kinban Spit. Our Sea Baby is not just a drone, but a richly functional platform that can be gradually improved. And today we can confirm that they are equipped with a salvo fire rocket system and this technological solution is already showing consistent results. So the enemy is on the lookout for new surprises. Pratsiwimo, as always effective, said Ukrainian army. The successful operation of Ukrainian unmanned surface vessels against enemy ships and infrastructure has drastically changed the situation in the Black Sea. The situation at sea has changed dramatically since the large-scale invasion began, and Russian ships no longer feel free in the western and southwestern part of the Black Sea. Sea Baby Drone, used by Ukraine's State Security Service for Special Operations, is capable of carrying 850 kilograms of explosives. At the same time, a missile from the S-300 system has a warhead of 150 kilograms, and such a projectile can destroy an entire section of a five-story building. At the same time, a caliber cruise missile has a warhead of 450 kilograms and can destroy a whole building. A hailstorm hit Poland's western city of Nizno on Monday, causing flooding in the city and covering it in snow. Thunderstorms and hail continue in the city, prompting authorities to issue warnings for local residents. The Polish Institute of Meteorology and Water Management issued a hail warning for several regions on Monday. There is an increased level of danger for three regions. Thunderstorms are forecast with heavy rainfall of up to 80 mm, the institute said. Polish Defense Minister Władysław Kosiniak-Kamysz announced that the Polish military would join in helping those affected by the hailstorm and eliminating the consequences of the disaster. Soldiers are mobilizing forces to provide assistance to the victims and eliminate the consequences, after the hailstorm in Nizno, the minister said. In Nizno and the surrounding area, rescuers received about 200 calls related to the disaster. The vast majority of these emergency calls had to do with pumping water out of flooded basements, apartments and commercial premises. Local farmers have already reported significant losses as many orchards were severely damaged.